the new EX35 with the five-seater five-door body, called the Coupe Crossover, was created on an upgraded FM-type platform, like, for example, the G35 sedan. For the North American market, two transmission modifications have been developed, rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. In Europe, the EX35 will only be available in the Atessa ETS all-wheel drive variant, which, by the way, is used on all Infiniti models of the G, M, and FX families. A noticeable reduction in the size of the EX35 body relative to the FX model, the wheelbase is shortened by 50 mm, and the overall length and width of the body by 272 and 123 mm, respectively, made it more compact than, for example, the similar Nissan Murano. To be honest, Infiniti has almost no models that have failed in the secondary market. The Japanese brand seems to be created for second or even third hands, since its cars over the years, becoming noticeably cheaper, slowly lose their original gloss. It was no exception in Infiniti EX. At the end of 2008, when the car went on sale, a rear, or all-wheel drive crossover, or rather even a hatchback, proved to be a comfortable, dynamic, and well-driving car. Let us down, perhaps, only a small ground clearance, less than 150 millimeters. And only over the years it turned out that he was also damn reliable. At the same time, the novelty looks like a car of a higher class than Murano, and it clearly surpasses it in terms of interior equipment and interior trim. The EX35 is powered by a fourth-generation 3.5-liter V6 engine producing 295 horsepower S, while the Murano has a similar engine power of only 234 horsepower. The engine is equipped only with the hydromechanical adaptive 5-speed automatic with the manual gear selection function. As befits a luxury car, the EX35 will come standard with high-end equipment and a long list of options. Among other things, by Xenon cornering headlights, AFS, electric folding second-row seats, AVM all-round viewing system with four video cameras located around the body, adaptive cruise control. The first EX35 came with the VQ35 engine. 3.5 liter gasoline V6 with distributed injection for 297 horses with a torque of 343 newton meters. Once he was recognized as the best in the world, powerful, trouble free, efficient, and not too demanding on fuel quality. His only whim is intelligibility to the quality of the oil, which is best changed every 8 to 10,000 kilometers. Even his platinum candles can easily take care of 50,000 kilometers or more without failure. Later, it was replaced by a similar 3.7-liter 330-horsepower engine, EX37, and in 2011, a less powerful 222-horsepower version of the EX25 with the 2.5-liter V6 appeared along with it. The latter did not have impressive dynamics, but it suited the female part of the audience quite well. The motors were given a 7-speed automatic, which became, perhaps, the most vulnerable part of the car. However, the manufacturer himself was to blame for this, at first declaring almost a lifetime of the box. The automatic transmission began to twitch and kick in a year or two, until the dealers began to regularly, once every 30,000 kilometers, change the oil in them and retrofit the automatic transmission with the cooling radiator. With the body, EX owners have no special problems. The paintwork is at the level of the brand's premium ambitions. Well, chips, where can you get away from them? EX owners, as a rule, do not get enough of vegetable riding. They drive. Well, on the little things, troubles still occur. Checking these nuances when buying is not superfluous. Headlight washer nozzle caps are weak, sometimes fall off. The nozzle assembly can cost up to 10,000 rubles. The battery in the key fob is rented out, the hooks under the floor mats break, the wiper leashes corrode. But this is already a trifle. In the cabin as a whole, order. The equipment is at the level, everything looks solid and rich, wood, leather. The more fastidious will find that the front seat padding and lateral support are a bit weak for such a nimble car. But this is not for everyone, but the leather of the gearbox handle, costing up to 10, 0, 0 rubles for a new one, really deteriorates and loses its freshness quite quickly. There is a problem with freezing door locks. All four. The cure is prophylactic lubrication. But a break in the lock cable is also very likely common problem. Replacing the lock with the original one will require at least 8,000 rubles for the lock and several thousand for the work. And in general, servicing Infiniti EX is not very cheap. There is one tiny gear in the steering column drive, which costs as much as 50,000 rubles to replace. 
To sin on the suspension is a thankless task. It holds a punch even on bad roads. The clearance of the car does not allow you to leave paved roads. Perhaps this partly saves the suspension. Shock absorbers and levers easily survive the mark of 100,000 kilometers. Well, the bushings and stabilizer struts, which last up to 40,000 kilometers or more, traditionally turn out to be among the standard consumables. But the brakes may well upset the EX owner. Many began to get annoyed with them after the 30,000th run, realizing, however, that the problems are the result of a sharp ride, to which the EX is very prone. Regular discs begin to beat, which leads to other problems. Difficulties are solved by replacing discs and pads with similar ones, but with higher quality. True, this pleasure is quite expensive. Electrician. It cannot be said that there are no problems with it at all. Failures occur, mysterious errors are displayed, the meaning of which can only be determined on specialized services. However, Electricians unanimously claim that the vast majority of them eventually turn out to be connected with the contacts and operation of the ABS system. F, as you understand, this does not affect the speed. In a word, we will not be surprised if, after our material for the Infinity EX, a hefty queue will line up on the secondary market. The car is good. Yes, and there are practically no contraindications, but there are practically no versions. The only problem is money. There is a car even in a fairly used form decently. And also the service. Suspension. In the northern regions, the life of shock absorbers is half as long as in the middle lane and in the south. The cost of the original front shock absorber is about 10,000 rubles. Front hub assembly, infinity, from 11,000 to 15,000 rubles. For the Chinese counterpart, they take three times less, but no one will give you a guarantee for it. Hub replacement can be expected on the run already from 50 to 80,000 kilometers. Transmission. The flashing of the box saved from jerkiness of the automatic transmission. Over time, another, more advanced firmware appeared, and since 2012, boxes began to be produced in a modernized version and there were fewer complaints about them. In order to extend the life of the automatic transmission, it is mandatory to install an additional radiator. Engine. The only problem common to motors is that even a slight overheating of the engine can cause deformation of the plastic cover of the cylinder head, resulting in oil entering the candle wells. As a result, breakdowns in the ignition. Gaskets for candle wells are only separate, and the only cure is to replace the cylinder head covers. Salon. Leatherette on the sidewalls of the seats is easy to damage. Carefully. Plastic in the cabin is not always of high quality. Over time, it begins to creak as do the front seats. From frequent use in them, the longitudinal adjustment mechanism wears out and play appears. It is treated by replacing the drive gear. The wood trim on the door may peel off. In the sun on a hot day, the front panel coating may blister. Over time, the leather on the gear knob wears off. Electrician. In winter, the windshield washer jets fail. There are three reasons. The washer motor turns sour, the liquid froze, the nozzles clogged. After five to seven years, it happens that the fuel level sensor fails. Complete with the fuel pump, it costs about 13,000 rubles. The VDC off and slip errors on the instrument panel indicate a drop in the brake fluid level.